primarily discuss about a high level overview of various ways we can install Kubernetes. This is just a very short video. It has barely one slide, but this gives you a very good clear idea about what are the different ways we can install Kubernetes. So let's get started. First, let's start with play with Kades. In case if you're familiar with play with Docker website, then play with Kades is designed in a similar way. This is ideal for someone who does not want to install anything on their system or laptop, but want to do a quick testing or a learn about Kubernetes. And this is a ready-made Kubernetes cluster available online. All you can have to do is just visit the website https labs.playwithkates.com or just simply Google it to try this out. And we have a dedicated demo on this following current video. Next comes the Minikube. Minikube is ideal for someone who want to install Kubernetes on their system but has a very limited system resources. So the key takeaway point with Minikube is you do not have a separate Kubernetes master and a Kubernetes node worker node architecture. You get all Kubernetes components packaged into one. It is all in one setup. Same system acts as a Kubernetes master and same system acts as a Kubernetes worker node. And we have a dedicated demo on this as well. Next, moving on to Kubadium. Kubadium is a way to go if you want to get actual real-time setup. We can do that using Kubadium tool. Using that, we can set up multi-node Kubernetes cluster. And this is one of the popular installation methods of Kubernetes. So depending upon the system resources you have, you can create multiple VMs. Then you can configure Kubernetes master and node components. In case you have a limited system resources, but want to use Kubadium method, then you might want to spin up cloud-based VMs. This is exactly what we are going to do in this course. We have dedicated video on this. So that's about the Kubadium. Besides these three, there are other three popular cloud-based platforms which offer Kubernetes service on their platform. They are Google Kubernetes Engine, Amazon Elastic Container Services for Kubernetes, and Azure Kubernetes Service. So what's common and cool with these cloud-based Kubernetes services are, all you need to define is how many nodes in your cluster should be and the size of CPU and RAM each node should contain. So once you fill all these details and submit, then these cloud services will automatically set up Kubernetes configuration and takes care of whole lot of things. And we have a dedicated video on Google Kubernetes engine to discuss this in detail. So that's about the high level overview. So without much delay, let's start with our next topic and that is play with gates. As we discussed, play with gates is one of the easiest way to install and use Kubernetes. And in that video, we'll discuss what is play with gates, how to create Kubernetes cluster on play with gates and test the deployment to make sure our configuration is working as expected. And finally, Thank you so much for watching this and I hope to see you in the next video.